paper snob. This month, for the month of November, I am partnering with Sandy Braversky, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly, in doing Thankful Thursdays. She asked a group of us on one of our scrappy Facebook community groups if we wanted to partner with her and do a Thankful Thursday post each Thursday in the month of November, and there were several of us that said yes. I will have everybody's links below who are participating, and I'm hoping that you will be inspired by these ladies, not only in their creativity, but also for their thankfulness. November is the time of year when Americans celebrate Thanksgiving, as most of you know, and I have friends who do a daily Facebook post of something that they are thankful for. I've never done it, not because I'm not thankful, but because I'd never remember to post daily. I'm just too scatterbrained for that. So I don't have pictures pulled out yet, but I am going to be scrapbooking a photo of myself with my husband. I just have to print it. But first I wanna show you what I'm playing with. So this is October 2023 Hip Kit Club Kit. It is beautiful. I ordered the main kit, a stamp, and a set of dies plus the embellishment kit. In other words, it cost me a little pretty penny to get what I have sitting here on my desk. And I thought I'd share it with you real quickly. And then I will pause the video, speed it up, and I will make some cuts and some choices of what I'm going to do. So first up, an exclusive, um, limited, it says limited addition, hmm. Hip Kit Club Essentials. It's a layered fall leaves metal die set. I will be using that for today's layout. These crochet hearts, very cute. There's five of them in colors that match the papers. We have 90 half pearls. Some really cool wood veneer. It looks like we have the word fall, some houses, some banners, some pumpkins, a pumpkin spice latte, um, what could be a cup of hot chocolate or a, another latte here. Um, I guess it could be a, a cup of hot tea as well if you put that amount of whipped cream in your tea. I do not. Um, hearts, etc. Great little set. Here are some printed felt stickers in beautiful fall colors and lots of leaves, mushrooms, and acorns. That's what I see here. A set of white matte chipboard titles. Ladies, these can be painted any color that you want. And bless me, it has a title for thankful which I will be using today. A gorgeous stamp. This was one of the extras that I purchased. And yes, I have all of my embellishments mixed up, so I'm not sure which came with the main kit versus were in the additional kit. I didn't separate, keep them separated. I never do. I always just dunk them in the same little bag. Here are some cardstock stickers. Nice little fall colors. Looks like there's only one sheet. Or maybe there's two and there's one behind. I haven't opened this yet. Chipboard frames and a few other little icons. I love that this month they um, layered these. Normally they look more like Pink Fresh Studios chipboard stickers and you can't use the other pieces but I think that you could use every single piece in here that's layered up together so that's super cool love that puffy stickers and these are all of the different icons that are in the kit including this little turkey who is kind of cute and Here's the ephemera bits. I will turn this over, but you can see the colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, as always. And you could even color that with your markers if you so chose. Nice. These are vellum leaves. Beautiful. There's a photo of all of them. And I know my ring light is glaring. I don't know if it'll help to turn it off. Let me see. 
and minimally it kind of makes it a little dark so but there you can see all of the colors let me bring the ephemera pack back in so there's that so i know that there was a manufacturing issue with the alphas that we were supposed to get this month so if you go to the website to purchase this kit these are not the ones that are photoed in the kit there something happened i don't remember quite what but something that they didn't feel like it was good enough quality to send us so these are white puffy stickers and on the, the facebook community group there was a link or a post about how to color them and what works best to color them I'll have to review that later. These are gorgeous glitter foam branches, leaves, and dots. Gorgeous, gorgeous. No photo on the back. Gorgeous. And they've been including a pre-cut. Um, let me turn that light back off. I'm sorry. A pre-cut cut file for us. This is really pretty love the wreath and now i'm going to turn this light back on guys because i just don't feel like it's going to show the true colors of these pattern papers the name of this collection is fall vibes and i have already made a mess of the pattern paper as i am prone to do by flipping it over randomly so Here's one sheet with these beautiful fall leaves and on this back side. Oh my goodness. I think I need another pack of paper. You know, I, I think I do. I don't, but I think I do. Here is a floral and this is kind of a dusty pink ish color with a, a brownish rust color print houses great for thanksgiving which of course the um, name of this paper is thanksgiving and the the previous one was is wouldn't you believe it spelled w-o-o-d-n apostrophe t very cute this is a lovely lovely star and if you notice they have really pretty branding strips and this is called slice of heaven some circles that's a fun 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 piece of paper this one is called prettiest season and it is just a fall smaller um fall print um back when i was into jamboree for my daughters we would call this a ditzy print because it was small and i have a beautiful beautiful navy blue plaid on the back side and you can see the branding strip actually matches the pattern paper from before which is cool this one's called nuts for fall and it has leaves and acorns very pretty and some lovely lovely squares on the back it make a great stitching paper yeah, that's me. I love to stitch. This one is the back side. It is a broken grid, and I say broken because they don't meet all the way, and that kind of makes a very cool pattern. Front side are beautiful, gorgeous leaves. That one's called Leaf Tangle. This one's called Harvest Vibes. It's different colors of pumpkins and gourds and some dots. Very, very cool. You could fussy cut those if you chose. An, a, an interesting, what I would say is like a basket weave blue pattern on the back. Very nice. This one is awesome. It has like the color palette here. And it's um, kind of a basket weave, but it's broken. So they're turned like this on it. It's called Grateful and Blessed. The back side is a lovely slate colored um, print. I like that a lot. And there's those houses. I adore the colors of this. This blue. Colors of change. It is so pretty. Backside is um, 
almost looks like a chicken wire with inking across. It's kind of cool. Make a great background. Some gorgeous flowers that you could absolutely fussy cut. This one's called Autumn Dreams and it has again the, the color palette in it. And on the back is a beautiful, beautiful denim blue print. I love that. This one is called Celebrate Together. It's almost a fleur-de-lis print, but not quite. Maybe we call it a damask. I don't remember. And a stripe on the back. So those are all of the papers. So now I need to make a decision of what I'm going to use for this layout, including getting a photo printed. I mentioned it's going to be a photo of my husband and I together. And I have an idea forming in my brain regarding how this is going to turn out, but we'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to add some mixed media to this background paper. I chose the one that I called the broken graph. I really liked the color of it, and I liked that it was neutral enough that I could add mixed media and all of the other color that I'm going to be putting onto this layout without taking away from that. It is a beautiful piece of paper, both sides. And like I said, I probably should ask for another pack of paper to be shipped with my next kit because I love this paper. I love all of it, but I digress. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my Pink Fresh Studios Marigold ink and this Tim Holtz stencil, and I am um, doing a rough circle around about where I think my photos and stuff will be. So I'm leaving a blank spot in the middle for photos and embellishments. Now I'm gonna come in with persimmon and I'm gonna add a little bit more color with the persimmon, trying not to cover up the other pieces. And depending on how you rub on this, you can get a dark color to a light color. I really like that effect on this, it looks really, really good. At least I think it looks really, really good. And this is a fun layout for me to create. I really had a blast creating this um, background page and the layout entirely. So I don't think I'm gonna be pulling anything other than the ink and the stencil in that is not Hip Kit Club. The rest of the product that I use here today is all from my October 2023 hip kit kit. So now I'm going to go back with my brush and I'm just going to kind of use the ink that is on the stencil um, and the brush itself and I'm going to spread it out. And so I switched back to my marigold um, brush. And yes, I have a brush for every color of my Pink Fresh Studio ink, kind of like I do with my um, Tim Holtz inks. I have a sponge dauber attached to the bottom of those inks. Well, these I'm using these brushes with. Um, anyway, so, and they are labeled so that I know which ink pad goes with which brush. But I am pulling the ink off the stencil with the brush and just kind of using what is on the brush already and I'm kind of getting a blend of the two colors. So now that that part is done, I spent some time off camera die cutting with those leaf dies that I got from Hip Kit and I cut into every single piece of paper except for one. I left the pattern paper that had the squares on one side whole. I didn't use it at all. Every every other piece of paper I've cut into, well, except for my background piece because I need that hole. So I took the back side of one of them, the one that had the dark blue plaid, and I used a Pink Fresh Studios die and then my circle dies, and I created a frame with that. I painted my title piece. I showed you the paint I used. Somebody's child took the label off. Not going to mention any somebody's children's names, you know, like Seth or Emily. And so I have no idea what color that is. I just looked at the bottle and thought it matched. So sorry about that. And I am just taking these leaves and I'm alternating them. I've put down the larger leaf, which I believe is a maple leaf. And I put it around almost the whole 
photo. And then I'm taking the smaller leaves, which are probably oak leaves, and I'm filling in with those. I'm putting two together around that perimeter. And then I'm gonna come in here in a minute once I get all of the oak leaves placed. I'm gonna come back in with another maple leaf and tuck underneath. Now I will skip to the um, actual gluing down process and I'm not gonna make you watch that part but we'll talk about what I did. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the leaves that I'm putting on last, like that one right there, those I'm gonna glue flat down onto my background paper. The leaves that I put on first and second, I'm gonna use fun foam to pop them up off the page. Now, as I'm looking at this, I'm not, I'm not seeing the color popping that I'm wanting. And so I'm going to fix that here in a minute. And I'll, I'll do this for one leaf for you here in a minute off camera. I did pull this label out of the ephemera pack and then a couple of other pieces of the um, die cut leaves. So what I decided to do was to take my journaling pen and just doodle around the edges of all of these leaves. I'm only going to do this one on camera just so that you can see what it looks like. I don't think that you need to sit and watch me pen stitch or doodle on all of these leaves. It, I just think that would be too much. This video is already long. So... Now I've got everything glued. I've got all of the doodling done on my leaves everything is glued down um including my photo and title and everything's glued down so now i'm going to take these vellum leaves that were in my kit and i'm just going to randomly put some in and fill in some more spaces with them um I, I like these because i'm able to bring in a couple of more colors like a different um shade of rust and a shade of green and then it couple shades of really dark blue these are so fun I would love another pack of these as well it's unfortunate that you can't get a single pack of something from hip kit because there has been many embellishments that I've received in their kits that I wish I could have more than one of so like I said I'm just filling things in here a little bit I'm gonna put another leaf bit down here with my journaling and I've already written my journaling down and I added a phrase sticker. I At the beginning I showed you the cardstock stickers and I said I thought there was only one. There turned out that there was two sheets in there and the back had labels, tags, and word phrases which I really really like and so I pulled a word phrase off of that, that sheet to, to, to use as a substitute as a subtitle English much here people also I am still kind of trying to balance out the colors and I chose a black and white photo so that I could use this um, vast array of colors and not compete with the colors in my photo and you know I feel like I don't always scrap enough um, black and white photos. So it's nice to be able to print one when I would like. So now I'm going to take the half pearls and I'm just going to kind of put them around the perimeter of my leaf. I guess this is a wreath as a half wreath. And I'm also going to put a couple down by my journaling spot and leaves down there. These are beautiful half pearls. I love them. Um, don't need another pack of them, but it would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, I should just order two kits and just get it over with. I'm sure Hip Kit would, would love that if I ordered two kits each month. Goodness, I can't even, I don't even have room for this one on my shelf. I do not need to order two. I need to use them. So next up, I'm going to cover up my photo with a piece of packaging. And I'm going to bring in, I think it's four colors of Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. This one is Wild Honey. And I'm just going to use it to spread out my mixed media a little bit more. Um, down on that lower left side, I didn't have enough stenciling and I could have come in with some more stencils, of course. But instead, I'm just going to bring in these splatters and I'm just going to splatter all around the perimeter of my layout. 
I believe the next color I bring in is speckled egg. This is one of my favorite blues in the oxides and it, it pretty much goes with just about anything. I, I really love this color. I could see, you know, maybe stocking up on these <laughs> and just having a spare bottle. Right now my bottle is pretty full. So I am definitely making a huge mess all over the back of my computer desk, which sits in front of where I record. And um, I'm going to have to do a lot of major cleaning with all of these um sprinkles that I make and my splatters are um, kind of filling in the gaps and adding some more color and more texture to this layout. I didn't want a lot of bulk so I was very careful about how much foam adhesive I put behind those leaves just popping up the tops and um, I also popped up my photo as well. I don't think I mentioned that. I'm bringing in hickory smoke here I love this gray. I think this is the newest gray or no, no, Lost Shadow is the newest gray. Anyway, I, I really like Hickory Smoke. It is a great gray. All right, I have completed my first Thankful Thursday layout. I am quite pleased with how this turned out. I love all of the splatters that are everywhere. Guys, I wish you could see the back of my desk. It's a mess. Um, anyway, I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who have taken the time to chat with me in the comments. And if you have any comments or questions about things that I have done in this video on this layout, just drop them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, make sure that you check that description box below. There will be a list of creators who are hopping along with us this month for Thankful Thursday. So make sure that you check those out and leave everybody some love because we all love to get comments and likes on our channels. Also, if you are not a subscriber, I would absolutely love to have you subscribe to my channel. So just click that button below. And if you want YouTube to notify you when I put out new content, click that bell. I strive to put out two to four videos per week, depending on what's going on. And hopefully I will see you again. Bye.